And social media posts helped land an Ohio woman in legal trouble stemming from her criticism of a nursing home that was taking care of her mother. News Nation spoke with her attorneys about the ch charges she's facing and how they plan to defend her. Here's Peggy Gallick. I don't know what jury in the world is going to, to throw a woman in jail for saying that a nursing home you know, didn't take good care of her mother. Attorneys Brian Bardwell and Sabo Chandra are defending Gina Crisson, who's facing charges of telephone harassment and menacing by stalking. I think that what we're going to see is that this is a woman who was just grieving. The defense attorneys say Crisson was unhappy with the care her mother received at East Park Retirement Center in Brook Park and called the nursing home administrator to address the matter and posted concerns online on her Facebook page. Do we still live in America in a country where people are allowed to say this business screwed up? According to a Brook Park police report filed last fall, the defendant was accused of making numerous harassing posts online. A court motion filed by the prosecutor states the charges deal with allegations that the defendant called the nursing home administrator on her personal cell phone over 2,000 times in 17 months. Stating the calls made in 2019 and 2020 caused the administrator great mental stress. The prosecutor added the defendant's conduct was abusive and criminal. But defense attorneys say some of those calls were made to the nursing home when their client called to talk to her mother. I think maybe he doesn't know what his evidence says. The defendant eventually moved her mother from the East Park Retirement Center. Her mother died a few months ago. First Amendment protects everything Gina did all along the way. Defense attorneys say they are hoping to have a hearing in front of a judge here at Berea Municipal Court soon, and they hope to have the charges dismissed. The Brook Park law director and prosecutor declined to discuss the case since the matter is still pending. Calls and emails to the owner of the nursing home were not returned. So what law director Carol Horvath is saying is that no, this, this was obviously an attempt to harass the nursing home administrator, to make her feel threatened, to put her in fear for her life. And I think just nobody who looks at this can possibly come to that conclusion. Peggy Gallick, News Nation, Berea.